Good check from Jamal. Trying to wade in with boxing. But he is not placing those knee kicks effectively at the moment. He's what? Checks the low kick. I like it. Stays in southpaw, starts the German. Tries to thread the hook off the right here. That one hurt. Olympic of course. Spinning back fist from Jamal. Goes to the body, up and cut straight right hand. The third round. And there's one from Jamal. And another one. Almost takes his nose off. Chatted to Nicholas Pettis yesterday. He said, Chevalo, it is going to be a whole brand new Sina Karimian. He is faster than ever. He is stronger than ever. And the stare down here between Karimian and Karim Jamai. Neither man breaking focus. 200 centimeters puts Sina among the top 10 tallest fighters in K1 history. Of course, four time K1 World Grand Prix champion Semi Schultz was 211 centimeters. Hong Man Choi, the tallest ever at 218. Michael Chevello, Mike Schroudner, Eddie Bravo with you. Sina Karimian in the green. Chab, two early combination from Karim Jemai. The undefeated machine from Germany. Round kick from Karimian. Good check from Jemai. Side kick from Jemai. Jab two tries to kill the two over the top to Jemai. There's a left hook from the German. Stop right. Break. 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 
Gloves up high here on Jemai. Trying to thread that shin around the back of the neck of the towering figure of Cutty Minute. Good high check again from the machine. Trying to wait in with boxing combinations. Jemai. Body shot from Jemai. Looking to dig that left hand into the liver section of Karimian. Yes, yes, I yes. check again from Jemai. Karimian is not placing those knee kicks effectively at the moment. He's going to either drop them to hit that common peroneal nerve just above the lead knee. Far too easy for Jemai to check so far. Inside lead from Jemai. And again from Jemai. Slow start here from Karimian, Mike. I expected him to come out stronger. Yeah, you know, I, I think the uh, the weight difference is really adding up over here. Jemai coming in about 15 kilos heavier, I believe. Uh, Sino, of course, is, uh, you know, a force to be reckoned with. But that weight difference, especially going into the later rounds, is going to be a massive differentiator here. Got to try and use his reach advantage to keep Karim, uh, Karim Jemai on the outside to Sino. Jemai switching to southpaw, checks the low kick. I like it. Stays in southpaw, starts the German, tries to thread the hook off the right hand, no, 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 no. just to slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that. First minute. One more minute. Oh, one minute remaining. First two minutes, I believe, going the way of Karim Jemai of Germany. High kick from Jemai. No, no, no. As we said, does have a background in Taekwondo as well. Yes. Nice one. The nice. kicking art of, time of uh, Korea. Yeah, that one hurt good. The Olympic sport, of course, spinning back fist from Jemai. Goes to the body, uppercut, straight right hand. What is that, nine? Nice. Jemai just walking through these leg kicks of Cena. Impressive opening round for the German. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Rides the low kick. Karimian got to get out of the corner. Axe kick there from Jemai. Trying to channel his inner Andy Hoog. Andy Hoog who won the K1 World Grand Prix here at the Yokohama Arena in 1996. First time the Grand Prix had ever been held inside this arena. 17,500 fans for Andy Hook winner. Low check there from Jemai. And again, he's been checking those kicks the entire first round, Karim Jemai. Nice knee to the upper left rib cage. And the German should take the first round. Tinder. Yeah, that's how I saw it as well, Michael. Jemai coming in here as the dark horse. We're really excited to see how this winds up playing out. Sina, of course, he has all the experience in the world, but he's really got to step it up now. I'm wondering, you know, last year he did have that massive shoulder injury. He was forced to take off most of 2023. I'm wondering if that's a major issue going on in this fight right now. Yeah, he seemed to be backing up a lot in this round, you know, for all the, the talk, you know, it just seems like something's wrong. Like, and he almost seems a little uh, gassed at this point, but I could be wrong. You're right, Eddie. You were there at the press conference yesterday. There was no shortage of words from Sina Karimian, but inability to back it up thus far for the hero of Iran. Still plenty of time to go. We are set for three by three. One extra round in case of a draw for the right to fight. And unscathed. Claudio Estrate in semi-final number one. It's K1 Rebirth live from inside the Yokohama Arena, about 50 kilometers south of Tokyo for K1 Rebirth. Quarterfinal number two. 10-9 opening round will go for Karim Jemai of Germany, who is undefeated. Opens up with a jab. Backing off the big man again. Checks the low kick, Jemai. His checks have been yeah. on point all afternoon so far. Good, okay. Good oh. extension on the cross oh. now from Cena. Oh. Overhand oh. right oh. too close, though. Maximov throws across to Jemai. Karimian oh. needs to try and strike oh. first here. Another good check from Jemai. Oh. There's not enough snap behind these leg kicks of Karimian bike, and Jemai's reading him, which enables him to check these leg kicks. Yeah, you know, I, I thought he was really going well. The start of the round, Cena came out. He, he definitely had a head of steam behind him, but it does look like once he uh, once he let that adrenaline dump, it's been a different fight. So I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a difference here between the talk and what's actually happening. Jumping knee from Cena Karimian. The six foot five Iranian getting airborne, but ineffective. Another good check there from Jemai. Switches to Southport. High kick off the lead leg. And he's oh, that's a late one. Well, I'd like to see a replay here because while Jemai didn't clutch his groin, had the referee stepped in, 
and stop the fight because if the referee had not stepped in, then Simic Karimian. As evil as it would have been, it would have been his right to kick him. I'm curious to see how this actually winds up playing out because that seemed excessively after the bell right there. No, no bell, but no, no bell, you're right. But now watch what happens here. Jamai will grab his groin. Referee's not there. You can see. I mean, it goes back to the fighters having to protect themselves exactly. at all times. Exactly. Now, look, morally, was it the right thing for Cena to do? No. Technically, could he have done it? Yes, but what I see, what I, what I saw, it looked like a solid shot to the groin. I mean, there was no doubt. It, was, it looked like, like it landed in with the shin. Oh, no doubt about that, Eddie. But the referee needs to be the one getting in there to stop it. It can't be the fighter placing his hands on his groin when he's in pain that stops the contest. Is there going to be a caution or a warning? Let's see. He's talking to the officials here inside. Here's the point strike. He cuts the pie at the center. You see, the referee didn't... I think he was with, with, within his right to kick him. I think he was, and we're back, it seems like. So, harm and a fell. Outside leg kick from Cena. Let's see if that slows down Jemai. Front kick from Karim Jemai. Off both legs now. He's in his preferred orthodox stance, Jemai. Did switch to southpaw a couple of times already. Jab two, funny shot, trying to dig to the liver. And now, does this get him more fired up? I mean, he just got nailed after, you know, kind of clutching himself. Where is this going to go right now? I mean, if, I, if I'm Jemai, I'm pretty, pretty upset. There's just no starch, though, behind those punches of Sina Karimian. Outside leg kick, then goes to the back leg, does Karimian, turning back kick, hoping for the liver there from Jamai. Karimian front kick, outside leg, a little sloppy though on the technique here, Sina Karimian. Where's the snap? Where's the speed? Where's the power from Sina Karimian? Yeah, you know, if this is the first round, I, I'm going to get a little bit worried uh, going forward. Both, both of these guys, how they're going. It seems like we're, uh, oh, but we're, we're, we're back at it. Karimian nailing it pretty solidly. Not phasing. Karim Jamai. You've got to try and get your opponent out of here early in the quarterfinals because one of these two men is going to face a fresh, an unscathed, an unblemished, rampaging grizzly bear named Claudio Estrate in the semifinal. And that's a scary prospect. <laughs> that's, that's not a win that you want. It's uh, after a grueling round like this, these guys are going to go the distance here, it looks like. And my goodness, they're definitely getting a, be a big win for very long. Is that something that would be in their in their heads, the, the next fight? No, it, it has to be. It, it, you've got to concentrate on this fight, but it has to be knowing that you're going against a fresh beast like a starter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've got to try and preserve yourself, Eddie. You've got to try and get your guy out of here early to be fresh in your semifinal. And you know who's smiling right now is the Grizzly backstage watching this, saying, these guys, yeah, I'm going to eat them in the semifinal. Uh, he's just polishing up those bowling balls, getting ready to go to town. Karimian needs to turn it on here in the third round because he is punching from the arms. There's no torque. There's no pivot. He's not punching from the bottom of his feet, not driving the punch all the way through his body. It's just arm punching at the moment from Sina Karimian. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing it right now, but uh, Jemai, you know, maybe surprising a few people. Coming in as a dark horse, I mean, you know, he's, uh, he, he, could, he could move forward pretty well here, even though that uh, that shot after uh, he, he bent over. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if that uh, kind of stunned him or anything. Undefeated Karim Jamai, the machine, the ISK World Super Heavyweight Champion. We believe leading after two. Third and final round, spinning a heel kick there from Jamai. Big body shot, tried to load up and sit down off the right hand. Checks the low kick again as Jamai. I'll say it once more. The leg checking of Karim Jamai tonight, Mike, has been superb. You're absolutely on point about that. Yeah, he's really deflected everything that Cena's thrown at him. Karimian with a check of his own. Spinning hook kick again there from Jamai. Started with the acrobatic spinning back fist bubbles in. This is the chance now. Here comes Cena. Jamai on rubber legs. Can Karimian drop him? Jamai forced to cover up. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, and what a spinning back fist out of nothing. Cena is here. Cena Caribbean channels Elena Dennis Alexio with a spinning back fist from hell in the third round. And there's one from Jamal. And another one almost takes his nose off. A counter spinning back fist. This is the Cena we wanted to see. He's finally woken up. Cena Caribbean house on fire. There we go. Let's do it. Cena's coming in for the kill right now. One more knockdown and it's over. One more. Referee may stop it. Referee may stop it. Referee right on top of it. Cena and Moody. Jamal nowhere to go. It's over. It's over. The Cena are the advances. The hero on the run will take on the Italian Grizzly. It was a slow burn, but Cena woke up with a spinning back fist from hell. Wow. Any bravo, you don't often see spinning back fists like that. That was the ball. That was amazing. And it was a counter from uh, a spinning back fist of uh, uh, Jamal. Well, it took him a while to wake up. They played he did. Cena Caribbean advances to the semi-final. The question is, how much did Caribbean take in the punishment factor that may play in his semi-final against a fresh Estrada? He had Jamai doing the chicken dance. And then finally the referee there did not set no more. And that's really what we're all about. I mean, this is going to be a long day in the office for all of these fighters. We're going into some serious deep rounds right now. And, I mean, this is all going to unfold over the next couple hours. These guys got to go back in at least one more time if they're lucky. And you don't see tournaments anymore in MMA because it's too brutal to have multiple fights in one night. But this style of fighting can't...